chapter 2, 10 through 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 10 through 11. But the Most High had revealed them. So, ah, there you go. Huh? Because Yahweh Shah said, my father revealed it, right? So what that scripture is saying? It says, but the Most High had revealed them mm. unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yep, the spirit what searches all things. So the Most High revealed this, this knowledge to you. Working through who? Working through men. You understand? You gotta remember the scripture said, it said, um, I think the son of our well, Paul saying that, that he give you the uh, he water, but the most high give you what? The increase? You understand? It says, Go ahead. but the most high had revealed them unto, unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the spirit searches, searches all things. Go ahead. Yeah, the deep things of the most high. Yeah, the deep things of the most high. That's, oh. what, that's what apostles got that spirit so heavy. Because they search it, they search it, man. They, they, they really go deep. Them men go deep. Ain't nobody, ain't no, none of us on his level. Not by far. You understand? Right. They said, for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man, but the spirit of the Most High. Yep, the spirit of the Most High. All right. So now, let's, let's get back in. Matthew 16, verse 18. Verse 18. Now it's going to get more juicy and more deep. Because now this verse is going to be, we're going to reveal who Peter really was. So your yeah, brothers out there on YouTube, pay attention. We're going to rock. Go ahead. It says, Matthew 16 and 18, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It says, I, hold on, hold on, relax, huh? Read 18 again. And I say also unto thee, thou art the Peter. Hold on, Peter. Peter. Another word for Peter is Petro. Petro means song. It's amazing how he got that name, man. It's amazing how the uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai renamed him Peter. Or uh, uh, Stone. It's, it's going to be revealed why. But upon and upon this rock, this rock, who, you, who Yahweh Shai was talking about? He was talking about himself. Because Yahweh Shai is what? Is that rock. Alright? Yahweh is the ultimate rock. You understand? So, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4, Aria, get that for me, Aria. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4. First Corinthians 10 verse 4. I'm dealing with the behind me. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Come on up. For the drunk of that spiritual rock. Uh -huh. That followed them, and that rock was Mashiach. Yeah, that rock was what? Yahweh Shah. That rock was Yahweh Shah. Just tell me who that rock is. And when you look at the word rock, it means a man like a rock firmness. So when you look up the word rock, you see, it said man like. What? Man like a rock fir of, of firmness. Yahweh Shai was an austere man. Y'all want to bring that scripture? That he was a uh, austere man? Luke 19, verse 21. For I feared thee, because thou art, thou art an austere man. Mm -hmm. Thou takest up the doubt that it's not, and reapers that doubt is not so. That's right. So, who, who that's talking about? Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is an austere man. You know, and sometimes, bro, these people that, oh, why are we so serious? Our family members or are, are, are wives, oh, why are you so serious? Oh, or our, our co workers going to say, why are you so serious? Yeah, Yahweh Shah was a serious man. He was serious. He wasn't a, a man. Austere man. Yeah, you crack jokes once in a while, but most of the time, man, in our regular life, we be serious, man. We, we at work, you know, I mean, it's a balance, but most of the time, we serious, man. Yeah, I was watching the GMS Boston. Yeah. 
And um, the lady was asking, there was a couple asking these, um, the, there's some questions. And every question they asked, they got answered. And then they asked, you know, why are you so aggressive? How are you being aggressive? That's the zeal, the passion he has. We take this word seriously. Yes, he's he giving it right to sir. Was it to say a righteous man scares what scares a little? Scarcely small. Scarcely small. You understand? But we're gonna go continue breaking down Peter, uh, Matthew 16 and 18. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. And I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So when it says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, what it's really saying there is saying, Yahweh is trying to say that the forces of evil would not be able to, to conquer the chosen people of Yahweh. You know? So, in other words, we're not going to be taken down. Any doctrine that come against this truth is not going to, be, is not going to prevail at all. Muslim. It's not going to prevail against this doctrine. That's right. Orthodox, Seventh Day Adventist, right? Uh, the Rastafarian Church, the Universal Church, is not going to prevail against this church right here because it's sitting, uh, it's sitting upon a what? A rock. You understand? That's what it means. Now let's break down who Peter really was. Give me Jeremiah 30. Uh, give me Jeremiah 30, verse 9. Jeremiah. Hold on, everybody get there. Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 9. Come on! But they shall serve the Lord with their with their God. That's just so word out. I'll read it. In in Hebrew. But they shall serve your power, their power. And David, their king, whom? And David, their king, their king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got more than. And they shall serve you how with their power. Uh -huh. And David, their king, and David whom? Their king. Go ahead. Whom I will raise up unto them. I will raise up unto them. Unto them. Yeah, you, in your mind, you gonna start thinking like, man, because that's not really saying that, you know. He is David. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, more is coming. You gotta, you gotta set it up. You gotta set it up. Sometimes when you box, sometimes you gotta set up those punches. Don't give them the knockout right away. Sometimes set it up. Get them one, two, three jab, body shots. That's when you give them the KO. All right, but Jeremiah 30, verse 9 is a beautiful scripture. Give me, uh, uh, Ariya, give me Isaiah 55, 3 through 4. Isaiah 55, 3 through 4. Isaiah 55, verse 3 to 4. Come on! Incline your ear. I said, man, incline your ear. Listen, listen. Go ahead. And come unto me. And come unto me. Go ahead. Here. And your soul shall live. And your soul, what? I? Shall live. Shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Come on. Even the sure mercies of David. Even the sure mercy of David. In the kingdom, it's going to be Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, David, it's going to be David, right? Then 144,000 men. Our leader is going to be David. All right? He's going to come back. All right, because he was a, he was a best friend of the Most High. Yeah, I would love David. All right? <laughs> he loved David. He loved him so much he gave him mercy. David committed adultery, man, and gave him gave him mercy. It, it wasn't easy. David caught hell dealing with his enemy, but at the same time he did give him mercy. All right. Hosea three verse five. Hosea three verse five. Hosea 3 verse 5. Hosea, Jews 5. Hold on, make sure everybody is there. We ain't, we ain't rushing. Yeah. We'll take our time. This is the works. This is class. All that works. And after that, we're going to, we're going to do a sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Hosea 3 verse 5. Hosea, Jews 5. Afterwards, said the children of Israel return and seek. Yahweh their power. And what? They seek Yahweh their power. Again? 
After which shall the children of Israel return. Yeah, return to what? Back to the commonwealth. And right. seek Yahweh their power. And seek Yahweh our power. Go ahead. And David their king. And David their king. Go ahead. And shall serve Yahweh in his goodness in the latter days. And shall serve Yahweh in what? In his goodness. In, in the latter days. So David, David's going to return. But Peter did not know he was David. Now, give me the scripture in Ecclesiastes. Yeah, you don't remember the former things? Give me that real quick. All right, David ain't had no remembrance or any knowledge that he was King David. Okay, give me that, sir. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 1.11. So Ecclesiastes 1.11. We don't know who we were, but we was back then. We was there with your high wire house shot. But to say that you was Nicodemus, you was this, you was John the Baptist, hell, nah, you nah. The most high took that out of your your penal gun. Go ahead. Yeah, but yes. you will know who you were when your high wire house shot come back. Go ahead. Please ask this one eleven. Come on. There's no remembrance of former things. There's no remembrance of what a former things. That's why Peter didn't know who he worked. That's why Peter didn't know who he worked. Okay? Neither should there be any remembrance of things that are to come. Yes, yes, that's right. So King David, King Malak, David Dawad. Malak Dawad. Alright, he's gonna come back again. Okay? In the kingdom. Let's go to Psalms 89. Psalms 89. Okay, Psalms 89. Some hard blows coming. Some hard blows coming. Psalm 89. Psalms 89. understanding of Psalms. You know, Psalms is a deep book, but they don't have no understanding of what they read it. That's right. why brother told the Eden, understand it without read it. Good. Psalm chapter 89, 90 to 21. Come on, man. Then thou speakest in vision to the Holy One Come on, huh? and says I have laid help upon one that is mighty. Mm. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. Mm. Verse 20. Chosen is Bacar. You know, chosen is, is, is Bacar. That's what Bacar means. You know, chosen to do this work. I don't know if be chosen to be saved, but chosen to do the works. You know, that's all, that's all what it means. Go ahead, Doc. Verse 20. I have found David, my servant, mm -hmm. my holy oil, I have anointed him. Repeat that again, Doc. I have found David, my servant, uh -huh. my, with my holy oil. Come on. Have I anointed him. Mm. Go ahead. Verse 21. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. My arm shall also strengthen him. And yes, David was anointed. David was anointed in the New Testament. That's what Barah had read 1618. Upon this rock will I build my church. You understand? Okay. So beautiful. Let's go to Psalms 27. Psalms 27. Four through six. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. Uh. Verse 27. Also, I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. Yep, I will what I? Make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier, right? That it's going to be Yahweh, da uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, David. That he was going to be higher than all the kings. He's going to be, David's going to be over us. Who are for pointing that out? Alright. Psalm 27. Also firstborn, and we are the firstborn in the spirit. We are we are we are that we are that rebirth of Yahweh shining on the land. 
Right? So, uh, give him a cup back to lead us. Yeah. The, ultimate, the ultimate firstborn is Yahweh Shah, the first fruit. Then, then all of us. Yep. Man, stinks smelling this one. Yup. Nice, nice. So, what's going to Psalm 27, guys? Psalm 27, verse 5. Psalm 27, verse 5. Psalm 27, verse 4. Psalm 27, verse 4. Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing have I desire of your hour. That will I seek up, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. Come on, for in the time, verse 5, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. He'll hide me in his pavilion. Go ahead. In the secret place of his tabernacle. Tabernacle means the tent of Yahweh. That's all it means. Tabernacle means the tent of your house. Go ahead. He shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. <laughs> ah, that's a cut right there. Yeah, you ain't getting it? That's right. That's your David. It's Peter. Yeah. Now, read, read yours again, Art. Because sometimes you got to read it again and again to really register. Sounds like nine or Matthew. Yeah, Matthew 16, 18. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I and I say also unto thee, Come on. Thou art Peter. Uh -huh. And upon this rock, rock I will build my church. Uh -huh. And the gates of hell shall not prevail uh -huh. against it. Read yours again, Art. For verse 27, Psalm 27, verse 5. For in a time of trouble, uh -huh. he shall hide me in his pavilion. Uh -huh. In the secret, in the secret of his tabernacle, Come on. shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. rock. So David was set upon that rock. Brother's getting it? David is who? Is Peter. Now, when you look at the word, shall he hide me, let's go back to H734. It means to set high, to extort, to exhort, to be lifted up. That's why he read that scripture. Read that scripture again now in Psalm 89, uh, verse 20, 27. Yeah, gotta, you got to match up the part. You got to put the pieces together. Psalm 89, verse 27. We ain't done yet. Go ahead. Also, I will make him my firstborn mm. higher than the kings of the earth. Yeah. That could be related to who? Yahweh Shah. Right? David, 144,000 men, then the rest of the Israelites. Beautiful, man. Okay? I'm going to give you a little nugget there. Our brothers don't got it, right? Let's go to Psalms. 40. Psalms 40. Psalms 40. Psalms 40, 1 through 3. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1 to 3. Hold on, everybody here. Everybody here. I waited patiently for the Lord. I hear you, huh? I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Come on, huh? He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. That's right, we represent America. Because, out because Billy Julie, David was in America too. David served on, on slavery. Let's bring it out. Deuteronomy 28, I think it's verse 40 something. 36. King, King David had to serve with us too. And the pastor said, that's Marsha. So Marsha died, then it's true. Marsha was King David. 28 verse 36. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 36. It says, the Lord shall bring thee and thy kings. And thy king. Which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou, nor thy fathers have known. That's right. And so, there shall... Yeah, so that king had to serve the other nations also. King David served. Huh? 28 verse 36. Yep. 
That's why, that's why when you read Psalms, David was what? He was crying in the spirit. He was crying, man. Okay, so let's go back to um, Psalms, 40. Psalms 40, verse 1. Verse 1. I read the... And, and, and then you read 1, and it says he cried. And David was a man of war. Just because a man cried, that don't mean that you're a pussy. Shit, I cried in the truth. A couple of times, man. I cried, man. I was like, wow, man. Wow, I'm serving you, Yahweh. I'm on one of your chosen to wake up these brothers in Trinidad. Wow. I bust tears, man. I bust tears. That don't mean that you're a pussy, man. Because that's emotions. You know, all of us have emotions. The most high have emotions. Hey, you want to uh, bring a uh, point something out? Just point out. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, um, And the Lord said unto him, Go to the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Right? Yeah, they want to ask question here next week, huh? So, you know, yeah. so put them all off. It says, Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, yeah. go, The Lord said unto him, Go to the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, sigh and cry, man. So this is that we, we actually crying right now. That's right. Because we've seen these abominations, our, our people going off serving these um, pagan holidays. Right. Right. I don't study him, man. He don't want nothing. I just seen the spray, he don't want nothing. Let's go to Psalm 40, 1 through 3. If it's meant for him to get it, he'll come back. Psalm chapter 40, 1 to 3. Yeah, go ahead. I waited patiently for the Lord. I waited what? I, I waited patiently for the Lord. Uh -huh. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Uh -huh. Verse 2. He brought me up out of the horrible pit. That's right, which is America. Go ahead. Out of the miry clay. The miry clay. And That's set. The miry clay. They represent uh, payments and oppression. When you're making payments to digital be mobile, courts, standard, um, in America, Renaissance, uh, they got light bill. Hey man, that's that's oppression, man. That's oppression. When you borrow money from the bank, you know what I'm saying, you gotta pay high interest rate. That's oppression, man. That Myri Clay represent uh, payment and oppression. The scripture said we are subject onto payments right. to this very day. Good, huh? Verse 2. He brought me up out of the horrible pit. Come on. Out of the miry clay. Guys, listen, and listen. set my feet upon a rock. Set my feet upon a rock. Good. And establish my going. And establish my going, man. Yeah. You understand? So King David was Peter. Read Matthew 16, 18. 16 and 18 again. What more proof do you want? What more proof do you want, man? Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right, so nothing can prevail against it, true. Nothing. Because it's built on a rock. The foundation is built on a rock, so nothing is going to prevail against this truth, man. You understand? Um, Aria, give me Acts, your favorite scripture, 5, 38 through 39. I know you love that scripture. Bro, give me Matthew 21, 44. Matthew 21, 44. We'll start with yours, Aria. Acts chapter 5, 38 and 39. Come on! And now I say unto you, Come on. refrain from these men. Yeah, refrain from these men right here. Leave these men alone. Go ahead, huh? And let them alone. Yeah, leave them alone. Come on. And if this comes, or this work be of men. Yeah, this work be of men. Go ahead. It will come to naught. Yes, it comes to naught. It's going it's to be done. It's going to finish if this work was of men. Go ahead, huh? But if it be of your hour, but if it be of your hour, go ahead. He cannot overthrow it. Yeah, you cannot overthrow it. That's why he said um, in Matthew 16, 18, it said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Nothing's gonna come against this truth, man, and they will not prevail. Just like you was talking about 
um, about that broken sister. That broken sister represent what? These the, the worldly religion, right? All right, nineteen. Um, huh? All right, Matthew sixteen, nineteen. Matthew chapter sixteen. No, no, Matthew twenty-one. Yeah, Matthew sixteen. Oh, you got scripture. Matthew, yeah, Matthew 21 and uh, um, I have more grace. Yeah, hold on, brother. Go ahead. I can't remember the grace of God. Matthew 21 44. Matthew 21 and 44. Yeah, go ahead. It says, And whosoever shall fall on this stone, who shall fall on what? On this stone, shall be broken. But on whomsoever shall it fall, it will grind him to powder. <laughs> it will grind him to powder, right? Huh? Yeah. So, all the religion that come against the truth, and what? They're going to be ground into powder. Because we know the truth. That's right. All right. All right, one more verse. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 16. Back at Matthew 16, right? Yeah, Ma uh, Matthew 16, 19. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You in a rush to go? You in a rush to leave? Yeah, kind of. I'll spend time on Pastor and see all the old table that happens to the night that is pull outside. That's when I'm still here with the brothers at home. Yeah, pause that for me.